Two decades ago, on June 29, North Korea opened fire in waters near the West Sea starting the Second Battle of Yanpyeong. From this year, Seoul decided to name the battle's commemoration event the Victory Ceremony to honor the heroes who dedicated their lives to defending the country's waters. Bae Eunji has the full story. On June 29, 2002, North Korean patrol boats allegedly crossed the maritime border near South Korea's Yonpyeong Island in the West Sea and opened fire on a South Korean frigate. This started a battle that killed six South Korean soldiers and injured 19 more. At least 10 North Korean soldiers were also presumed to have been killed. To mark the 20th anniversary of what's referred to as the Second Battle of Yonpyeong, a commemoration ceremony was held Wednesday in the city of Pyeongtaek, about 70 kilometers south of Seoul and on the west coast. Starting this year, the Navy has decided to officially name the annual event the Victory Ceremony. This is to confirm that South Korea won the battle and to honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice while safeguarding the country. The names of the fallen sailors were each read aloud by the country's defense minister, who met the bereaved families and paid his respects. The Second Battle of Yonpyeong was a victorious naval fight and a proud event in Korean history. Our service members blocked North Korea's provocations and inflicted significant damage on the enemy. During the ceremony, the family members took part in a wreath-laying event aboard Navy ships that were each named after the fallen sailors. I don't exactly know if my brother is up in the sky or at sea, but I have a strong belief that he's still safely guarding South Korea. These days, the West Sea near the Northern Lemon Line is safeguarded by a new 3,100-ton guided missile frigate, along with a 450-ton guided missile patrol boat and a 230-ton patrol killer. Pounds, Arirang News.